Right, baby. What's up? It's your girl, B. Simone and Megan A. Brooks back with another episode of the Know For Sure podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, tell me I was right. Come, just say I was right. We got to get the people what they want. What they really want from a nigga. They want Let me know. Back. What they really want from a nigga. They, they want me want back. <laughs> they really want me <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what they really want, y'all want it. We gonna give it to you. Yeah, we Thank gonna you. give it to you. Thank yeah, you for having my back. I don't know. In the no, because I don't have a confirmed number. Okay, I but don't. Megan, I don't have go. a confirmed number, and nobody has said if I said a thousand <laughs> or a hundred. I'm sure I said a thousand, so. It's, uh, I'm sure it's more than a thousand comments from DMs to comments to YouTube. So we gonna give the KFS family what y'all want. You know what? First of all, we need a name for the KFS family. Y'all so y'all gotta give ideas. y'all gotta give y'all a name. Yeah. We need like what a. Y'all want? What do y'all want? What do y'all? To be called. Yeah. All our supporters. I, I like KFS fam. You don't like that? I mean, I don't hate it, but it's like that's the best we can do. I ain't know, like KFS gang gang be have army navy. Yeah, I think that's why. <laughs> like the Maybe beehive or the like, navy. Yeah, yeah fuck she with wants us. To be culty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right for us. Yeah. Right. When they in the comments coming for but us, y'all better be right there writing. with the hashtag. We need like a symbol. Yeah. You know how like the beehive got the bee, navy got the anchor. We need the praying hands. <laughs> no. 100%. Our symbol is the This prayer. is our we need This prayer is this. Hands. This is us. Believers, if, if you don't know God, don't send your prayers to him. Don't be praying for us. Yeah. We need the people that know him now. Know him. We don't know who you praying to. Cuz some of y'all's ceiling just hit the ceiling. Some of y'all's uh, prayers hit the ceiling, bounce back. Bounce right back. They don't go. They don't make it through the house. They don't even make it through the house. And you don't have high ceilings. So that says a lot about you. <laughs> 6 foot. All right, okay, so I'll so give it to him. You got to give it, give him one. You're so good. <laughs> You're so cute. I'll give it I'll to give him. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Yo, really, honestly, we should have a jingle career. We be coming up with some. What? What we did yesterday? Oh, it was like. <laughs> what was it? So skinny. I ain't got no ass, but I don't care. Because I'm skinny. Because I'm skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no hips, but I don't care. Because I'm skinny. Because I'm skinny. Look, what? I ain't got no titties. I don't care. Skinny. Yeah, yeah, skinny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that shit fire, bro. What was the one last night? Oh, she kind of said, Casa Amigas. <laughs> that was hilarious. Last night, y'all. They were drunk. I wasn't because we I, I was driving. She was driving. She had a little sip, but we got drunk. She kind of talk about. <laughs> no, we was upstairs <laughs> just <laughs> having fun. We had a great day yesterday. We were having fun dancing. And I don't know what got that. What got that started? Because she was like, is this tequila or what is this? What is, or she was like, is this vodka or tequila? I, that I was, was like, first, it's yeah. She's she like, said, it's Casa Amigas. Amigas. <laughs> She's no, like, but what, what was the song upstairs, though? I don't remember. But, but she, she kind of ad libs was Casa Amigas. Casa Amigas. Casa Amigas. And then Ashley was she like, was Ashley was Come singing. Casa Amigas. Uh, Ashley, you cannot sing, sweetie. Let's just get get Yo, get down to the nitty gritty. Our team is funny, man. We love. We our had team. a great, we had great, a great, great day night. yesterday. Yeah, that was All great. Right, don't try to get out of it. All right, come on. <clears throat> We're back, Maggie. <laughs> fucking bitch. God damn it! You know I can hold it for two point two seconds. My fucking diaphragm. <laughs> and I always close my eyes, so I never know that she's not doing it. Come on, man. It's it's almost like it's better when I just think <laughs> when everyone thinks that you're just doing it by yourself. I think it's funny there that way. Just give us the harmony. All right, come on, come on. We're back. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> For y'all that are just listening and not watching, I keep closing my eyes <laughs> and I keep having faith. It's like, am I a friend. bitch or are you are stupid? You <laughs> am I a bitch or are you an idiot? <laughs> I keep believing. I'm Maybe we need it. a little self reflection. <laughs> Accountability. <laughs> Maybe <Dumb>. it's you. <laughs> You're dumb. 
insanity. Do the same, same thing over and over. Expecting a different, different thought, thought, bitch. I said no once. I, don't, I mean it. Man, she tell me y'all know. She ain't telling me. Uh, what? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, come on, come on. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> See? I, no, I'm going to do it. Oh, you hold your note. You hold your note. You hold your note. Because you were okay, trying start. to. I got it. No, you start. You start. Because you be just, trying to be on people's ass it. and you really don't just be harmonizing. It. It'd be go. you. You're so pretty. <laughs> you are. You, you are. That's crazy. It's crazy. Cheekbones. It's like. Your bone structure? Oh my God. Ray. I'm about to get filler. <laughs> I'm about to get filler. Because <laughs> he smile lines, sweetie. That's how I knew we were 30. Yesterday, my, looking at our smile lines, I was like, year. I'm like, what is going on? Smile lines and that under eye bag? Well, baggage? listen, baby, at least bag we smiling. Day day. I'm glad I got smile lines because we smiling more. Come on, God. Because last year I had no smile lines. Ooh, Ooh cause I wasn't smiling. Jesus. My God. My God. God. Thank you, Lord, for these smile thank lines. Thank you for the blessing. I don't like them, but thank you, I got them. Thank em. you, I got them. Because it was about where they came from. Ooh, my God. Come on. They came from a smile. <sighs> I'm smiling more. I claim it. I claim it. And I'm getting filler. And I'm going to get the filler. Jesus. And I'm going to keep smiling. <laughs> I ain't going to see the lines. I ain't going to see the lines. Okay. All right. Come We're on. back. Back. <laughs> My booty cheeks are clenching. <laughs> you can't see it, you but they are. See, but they tight. I love that. Y'all, so, okay. 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 Y'all not ready. Y'all are not We were ready. so hyped yesterday. Yo, so we came up with a whole plan when we go on tour, because y'all know we coming on tour. We going on tour, we're claiming it, we're manifesting it. Yeah, it's going to be sooner happen. than y'all think. People, we had a meeting yesterday, and the person we met with is in a major company, podcast world, and she was just like... She came to us. She came to us. We were she, supposed to meet her. We were supposed... Well, yeah, they emailed us and wanted to have like a phone conversation yeah. and we were like we're, we're in LA yeah. and I'll be back till next week. Yeah. They said we'll come to you. Yeah. What's up? We'll do dinner. We had so many episodes. You all right? Yeah, it's just my, I got a hole in my lip. But you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hole in my lip. No, I just don't. spilled drink on my mimosa on my thigh, but it's okay. She always does that. She's most sloppy, clumsy it's eater. Ridiculous. Ridic. I love food so much. We don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. Because what were we talking about last night at the comedy show? I'm sorry, but that was hilarious. Um, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Wait, no, and, your, okay, but, okay, but d- remind me about her, about her oh, and yeah. the 12 disciples. Y'all okay. didn't hear it. Okay. Please okay. remind me okay. about that. Okay. okay. okay so, um, so anyway. Write that down. 12 disciples and comedy Shekinah show. Shekinah and comedy show, chips. yeah. Okay. Oh, the chips. That's Jesus hilarious. Um, so... What was I talking about? meeting yesterday. Yeah, she mm-hmm. said she they pulled were, up on she us. pulled up on us because we were supposed to do dinner. She pulled up on us. Sat outside by the pool. We had our meeting, yeah. We had amazing episodes yesterday. It was a long day, so we were like, just come to the house. Mm-hmm. We can talk. We're not going to have time to go to dinner. Come to the house. She came, and she was like, listen, like, I've been doing this for a while, and I specialize in numbers. people of color and yep. numbers. And she was like, what y'all are doing Man. is not being done. Man. She was like, there's only a few people of color that are doing it. It's not a lot. And she was like, and for you guys to not have a specific like Thing, niche, niche <clears throat> uh, whatever, was like. But she even said, she was like, I've never seen it happen this fast. Fast, she yeah. She said, usually, you know, people take off. People she of said color, a year. A year. To do what we do, what we're doing with the numbers. In two months. So I said all that to say, A, God is good. And B, Thank, what? Thank, thank, thank y'all. y'all. Yeah, this is we, this, this episode, episode is for y'all, y'all because yeah, we want to dedicate it to y'all. We don't. I don't want to wait until the hundredth episode or the thousandth episode or we're thanking y'all now. We thanking y'all now for the, the ones beginning. that's here Man, now. Y'all are building the community for us to feel safe. Yeah, it's just an endless cycle. I feel like we're pouring into y'all. Y'all, y'all are pouring, pouring into us. us. Y'all yeah. think we're helping y'all heal? But y'all, y'all are helping, helping us. us. Like, yeah. We're here for each other. It's we want it it's to a, be mutually yeah. beneficial, and it is. It's in, it's infinite. It's going to yeah. constantly recycle and and flow yeah. and evolve. And we didn't want to like waste time to yeah. dedicate an episode to y'all. To Every y'all. episode is dedicated to y'all. It's for but y'all. This is literally but this for is for y'all. y'all. Like, y'all like y'all dedicated to y'all. We love y'all. Yeah. And God just blew my mind yesterday with that. Like from Christ. from the morning. The whole, all day. To we went to sleep. I was just like, man. I kept walking around the house, and I was just like, thank high, you, God. Thank on you, a God. High. Like yesterday was a great, great day. 
And we have a lot of days like that, though. We do. We do. We, we really do. do. Have, every day ain't like that. <clears throat> you know, some days are chaotic. Some days are stressful. Some days we're not feeling it. Yeah. You know, we, we got to maneuver through that. But Especially yeah. coming off of the week we had. Yeah. When, yeah. you know, the Martin Luther King episode dropped. Or it, it wasn't really a Martin Luther King episode. Yeah, but, but that, when that, that part clip, came yeah, out. Yeah. It was a rough week. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it was triggering for you. Yeah. And, and thank y'all for fighting for us in yeah. the comments. It, it was hard. It was because, hard. Excuse me. It's always going to be difficult to maneuver through public conflict, public ridicule. scrutiny, public ridicule. Ridicule. Come on. Ridicule. When, ridicule. <laughs> I'm, so I'm so sick of this ridicule. I'm so sick of this ridicule. When your intention is pure. Pure. When yeah. you just don't give a fuck. It's like, whatever. But... We really, really care, care about not what people think. And our messaging. Yes. We care about our messaging. How we, we care yeah. about how, not necessarily what people think, but we want y'all to see our hearts are pure. We're yeah. coming from a good place. Nobody Giving is our best. Giving our best. We are waking up every day and trying. Trying. To be better people, to grow, to evolve, and we're trying to do that on a platform. Mm -hmm. So it's always going to be the negative with the positive, but I think it was hard for both of us, but I really I didn't have, I didn't, my peace wasn't. Um, um, it wasn't unsettled. I will say you maneuvered so well through it and it feels good to, <laughs> the first thing that came to me was getting jumped, but it feels good. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Like if you fight in one-on-one, -on -one, it's hard. It's hard. But when your best friend is right comes next to and you, we jump that bitch. Or, or you just not in that fight by yourself. Like, even you if not it's by yourself. But you got somebody, somebody fighting with you. With, like, it makes you be like, I'm not giving up. Mm -hmm. Like, she ain't gave up yet. I'm not giving up yep. yet. Like, she's still throwing them punches. Yep. I'm going to throw them with her. Yep. And we believe in what we saying. We stood by what we said. We didn't backtrack nothing nope. we said. And, and we were and we were understanding of other people's reactions we who were negative. Now, if you were just nasty. No, nah, you're getting blocked. You're getting blocked. But if blocked. you want to have the conversation, it, yeah. let's talk. Let's talk. Come on the show. <clears throat> and you could go. I was commenting back. I spent yep. time having conversation and dialogue I with people. I understand you, how you feel. Yep. Got it. And I totally understand how you could have gotten that from this 30-second clip. And we responded in love. That was the biggest thing. Even if that wasn't directed to mm -hmm. us, we responded in love. Yeah, yeah. I responded with questions. Yep. I responded with, hey, like, help me understand what you mean by yeah. that. Yeah. Here's what I meant. Here's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. Actually, that was just a short clip, and yeah. I understand it was triggering. But the purpose is to draw your attention to the bigger picture. to the bigger picture. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? It's just yep. like in a horror movie, they use the jolting, scary moments in a clip to get a reaction yep. out of you, to get you to, to come, get watch, you to come the watch the the film and yeah. and listen to the whole story so you can understand. The trailer is never gonna be. <laughs> The part the story. that doesn't make you want to go watch. Yeah. The trailer is to make you go watch, watch. the yeah. full show. Yeah. You know, and we so. and I just I'm proud of us for how we maneuvered it. We we stayed on the phone. Me too. Checked on each other. Me too. How you feeling? You doing yeah. all right? Or you okay? This is fucking annoying. I mean, yeah. we were honest with each other. Like this yeah. is frustrating. This is annoying. We had people that we looked up to. Man. Say yeah. think say negative things about yep. us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. People that we respect we yep. respected in the industry say bad. They are, or, and on the flip side, people that we looked up to say positive things. Yeah, it was a mix of both. Yeah, you know, so. But the important thing is, is that we 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 ignited a conversation, yeah. and that's what's important. That's the point. That's the point. Like I saw some comments, like you know, even some people were like I don't agree with this clip, or I don't agree with this, but it made I me think. It made me think. It made me think on a deeper level. We were still this. talking about it the other day. She kind of was like. I still don't know where I land Come with on. this. I still don't I'm know what's I'm still more thinking about this. Perception or reality. And that's going to be a question that we're always, I think, going to have. But at least you're it thinking about question. it. It's a question. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's not get okay. into it. It's like, let it go. Okay. If <laughs> because, I ask no, a so, question <laughs> and you're triggered. Self-reflection, self-reflection, self-reflection. You've got to look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> self reflection, self reflection, self reflection, yeah, self reflection, yeah. Self -reflect. go yeah. ahead, yeah. self reflection, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, so yesterday, that shit was hilarious. We went to a comedy show. But back to food, because I'm gonna let you get into the twelve disciples. But okay, no, we good. went to a comedy show. First of all, and we in LA. I ain't gonna lie. I hit the blunt. It's legal out here. Whatever. Yeah, you know, it's legal. we're gonna. We're when gonna I have, smoke, yeah. I get. I'm already hungry. <laughs> I, I am up. already an eater. Sober. So I wake up, I'm hungry, sober. <laughs> so, you know, when you get that weed in your system, it's like, yo. What's that? 
order the food before I hit this. Where that nachos? Where, <laughs> where that nachos? nachos. Where so we went to a comedy show. No, said, we were hyped about. Let me tell you, Bruh. we in the kitchen. We so they taking shots. I had a little. I had think I had one shot before yeah. we left. So yeah. they in the kitchen. They drink. They drink and we take a shot. And we like, we're hungry. Like we already talking about food. We thinking about it now. We're like we going. So to this B's comedy? like, but you know, comedy clubs <laughs> always got the best food. And I, I backtracked in that moment. I said, I said, no, the bitch, they no, they don't. Not it's always, good to, but at least fries. Fries or like. Maybe a salad with a salmon. You know, they, they do have stuff like that. Like Loaded it's, it's potato bite. What's right. those? Potato skins. Potato wedges. <laughs> Mozzarella. <laughs> Mozzarella Rilla sticks. sticks. Least you could do. Least. Let me tell y'all what these <laughs> niggas had. <laughs> so, first of all, first of all, we get to the comedy club. We and live. this is this is the Laugh Factory, the Laugh Factory in, in LA, LA, which, which is like a staple a friend. Yeah. A staple yeah. comedy club like Kevin Hart still go there. Yeah. Dave Chappelle still go the there. They still go there to work out their they material. They work out their material. And it's open mic night. Yeah. So people going up there just trying out yeah. material or whatever. So it's not a lot of people there. It's probably like 50 of us yeah. in the room. Yeah. So we sit down um, <laughs> and we look. At, we pull up the menu. And when I tell you the anticipation in my heart, I was really excited. We I'm kept like, scrolling. We were like, I said, this is a one pager. <laughs> no, four items. And and we we, <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what they were. Chips and salsa. Chips and salsa. Chips, chips and, and guacamole. Guac. Chips and spinach dip. Artichoke pen- spinach dip. And, and what was the last thing? <laughs> hot dog bites. Hot dog bites? <laughs> we don't for eat first, meat. No, first of all, I ain't never, never seen that. <laughs> what is a hot dog bite? I almost considered it. Like the things at Auntie Anne's? I don't know. I have not had meat in six years. I almost ordered that. I was so hungry. I said, well, what's the breading around it? Because maybe <laughs> can I can dip the- it in. <laughs> Can you bring the sauce, the guacamole, and the bread off the hot dog bites so I can make a vegan sandwich, bitch? I said, bring the veggies with the hummus. And <laughs> Megan was like, do y'all, first of all, the lady came. Megan was like, y'all got fries? She was like, we have what's on that menu. She said, no, but on we, that on menu, that menu, is, menu what is, is what we have. Megan said, said okay, well, do you have ranch? ranch? <laughs> they, she said, what what's is on the menu, menu is, what we, is what we have. But stay with us, y'all. We're getting to the point that. We're overeaters. <laughs> We're getting to the point that when you're high, it doesn't matter. Okay? We're Baby, they to- brought out oh, us. Because oh, <laughs> I remember what I said to you. <laughs> <laughs> when you're high, it doesn't matter. And when you're a glutton, <laughs> you can't be stopped. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, y'all, because this is fucking ridiculous. So we and get it's the food. No, we get <laughs> we get the t- we get the chips and salsa and the chips and guac. They bring First us. First of all, the, Megan hates spinach dip. It, I, and I knew that when it, I. But no, it infuriates me because she knows I fucking hate <laughs> she, spinach dip, and she will ask every, every time, fucking restaurant we go to like, that has spinach dip. She'll be like, "You want to get the." I'm like you, like, you know. You know, I hate it. But last night, I looked at you. I considered. I was like, you don't you said, like but spinach Because I said, order like, the spinach dip. And you said, like, you, you don't, don't like spinach dip. dip. And but I she said, was like, I, I like it. <laughs> I said, I understand that. But what I'm saying but is. But what I'm saying is. is <laughs> they have no ranch. <laughs> they have no fries. <laughs> they have hot dog bites. <laughs> order the spinach dip. Order the fucking <laughs> spinach dip. Yeah. That liquidy fucking spinach oh dip. It was terrible. So we ordered it. We it was terrible. The salsa? No, look, look, let me tell you okay. the chips that they bring out. They bring us the Lunchable the circle, circle nachos. You know from the Lunchables with the nacho Lunchable? The worst. Those. But it was they it was like the mom and daddy size, not big. the kids. It was the huge size. But we ate it. Sweetie, they bought that out. The guacamole out. Megan asked for salt. Excuse me, salt. <laughs> they brought the guacamole in the spinach dip. Megan asked for salt and I said can you, I have a side of salsa. She was like, you want salsa and chips? We have enough chips. I just need more sauce. She still brought I have a sauce person. Oh, yeah, the salsa was good, though. She came back with her salt. I said, where's the salsa? She said, ma'am. She said, it is coming she from said, the kitchen. She said, the kitchen has to give it to me. She said, once the kitchen makes it <laughs> and gives it, and to, gives me, it to me, I, it to I will you. then bring it to you. I was like, well, bitch, alley you, bitch. <laughs> Throw it from across the room. It was, it was, it was a, I feel like it was a difficult night for them because they had these two drunk white girls that Actually, was heckling. Yeah acting a fool. And I looked at B and I said, you know what's crazy? I said, if those were two black girls, they, they would have never there. stayed that long. They stayed a while. They stayed a while and being very disrespectful. disrespectful and I was like, if it was a black, if it was two black girls, they would have kicked them out immediately. Yeah. So that, Megan didn't like I didn't that. like that. Yeah. 
I didn't like what they did, but I also didn't like how much grace yeah. it was given because I feel like if it was two black girls, yeah. they would have been like, these ghetto ass bitches out of here. You know what I'm saying? But it was crazy. A guy fell, hit his head on the table, passed out. It was just a mess. Like, <laughs> I was like, where? And we're kind of high. So I'm like, where are we? we was just, and we kept eating. And I, Baby, we, we couldn't we stop eating them. We were demolishing the food, and we literally looked at each other. I was like, I was this, like ridiculous. this is disgusting. I said, but I'm going to keep eating. I'm, and I said, I'm going to eat some more. Hand me the guacamole. <laughs> I am so fucking hungry. <laughs> I said, you know you are fat as fuck when you get yeah. full yeah. off of nasty food. Yeah. <laughs> like, and what you know what's crazy is I'm the sober one. Like, I'm high, but I'm not. Drunk and high are two, two different, different feelings, yeah. right? Yeah. They're drunk. B is drunk, Shekinah's drunk, Ashley's drunk. They're all drunk. You were drunk. They were taking drunk. shots. No, Shekinah, you were. No, Shekinah was drunk. Let me tell you before you get to the 12 disciples. I want you to tell that story. But this, we all didn't like our margaritas. <laughs> Ashley's, got, like, she, Ashley's, like, <laughs> Ashley's like, I'm going to um send my bag. I was like, I'm going to just drink mine. Mine's always half gone, but it's fucking nasty. Uh, Megan was like, Shekinah, you going to drink yours? She's, She's like, like, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to drink it. The lady comes back. Ashley goes, I didn't like my margarita. Shekinah goes, I didn't, I didn't like, like my either. margarita either. <laughs> We were like, we thought you were going to keep it. She's like, mm-mm. <laughs> She's like, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And she was like, uh, then Ashley was like, I'll just do a shot. She's like, me too. Me too. I was like, I was like Shekinah. She's like, honest liquid courage. Shekinah was, when I say tipsy whipsy, <laughs> tipsy whip. she kept, she sitting next to me, and every five minutes, she's doing this. With her braid. And hitting me. So y'all that can't see, Megan is she's swinging like, her braid. She's like swinging her braid. She keeps hitting me. B keeps kicking me. And B's basically kicking me. And every time she's like, sorry, but she doesn't stop kicking me. She's like, I'm still going to keep kicking you. So I'm sitting in between these tipsy ass bitches. So then somebody says something about, one of the comics says something about Jesus. I don't know what, what it was. Mm -hmm. They were, somebody says something about Jesus doing something. No, it was God created. I don't remember. It was God created something. I don't remember what it was. Yeah. But she kind of says something like, yeah, that's because he got them 12 disciples. And I was like, the disciples weren't part of that, that part. Nothing that nothing. That's what they're talking about. Nothing. The disciples she weren't there. Fucked up. up, bro. <laughs> it was so funny, though, because she said it and was like. <laughs> and then the whole comedy show actually talking about, mm -hmm. Huh? No, yeah. Ashley only did that to the black comic. <laughs> Only when Flex went up there, she was quiet for everybody else. Shit, getting nachos, getting moving she around. She She's like, like yep. yep. And responding to shit that didn't make I sense. Like, let him get the joke out. He's in the middle of the bit. <laughs> get, the punchline wasn't, things. yeah, the punchline didn't happen yet. It was just funny, though. We had fun yesterday. It yeah. was really, really funny. That was fun. We, we got, got we came in the house. We was going off in the car. Well, oh, we got to tell him our intro. So, so we came up with a whole came up intro. With a whole intro. When we go on tour, back to that, we, we got sidetracked. We talked about that earlier. But tell them. No, you said good. Well, we'll tell them. So y'all know we're going to go on tour. We're promising y'all tour. Not even promising. It's going to happen. We're no, gonna it's going to happen. Like, <clears throat> you know, we're going to go on tour sooner than later. Usually people take a while, but we're going to try to, you know, get on the road soon. So we, um, what's our song, though? What's the Drake song um, that we love? Um, it's off of, if you're hearing this, it's too late. If you're, this, if you're reading this, it's, if you're too, reading late. It, it's too late. Song, is right? it Six yeah. God? Wait, I'm a, hold on, I'm going to pull it up. I got it. Exact, when I say this is our shit. When I say know? this song is, this song first of all, this is, this been our shit. This like, it our, wasn't. Yeah, this is our shit. But. Is it, ooh, turn it on, 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 Okay, cut it, cut it. We got him out of time. We got him out of time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can we read the lyrics? We got to read. Y'all. Y'all understand. Say, when I say I can we, feel it from my feet. feet from the Ruta to, to the, the tuta. tuta. When we play this shit, it, it's like, we'll play it sober. It's like, this is our shit. Like, it gets us in our bag. Yeah. But when we play it, we a little buzz. Both. It was crazy. <laughs> that energy in the car. We gonna, we gonna make a reel for y'all, Ashley. He said, oh, here go another motherfucker that don't understand the concept of putting money first, boy. Like, I'm about to hit you with the work, boy. I'm about to hit you with the work, boy. Woo! Man, I hate coming on, stunting on niggas that I know. That's the worst. Worst. I, I admit it. I admit it. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Keep going, please. He said, I hate coming oh, through, stunting God. on niggas that I know. Oh, that's, that's the worst, worst, boy. Worst. <laughs> I admit it. I admit it. I admit it. You ain't been 
Wait, you haven't been a man for like a minute. Oh. I told you I'm in it for the long haul. You, you could really get to Venice. Drake be preaching. What? That, that's my favorite artist, y'all. Anybody that know me know I love Drake. In them words. Yeah, it was Drake crazy. Drake is like, I'm going to be legendary. I am in I don't it for care. the long haul. All this 15 minutes of fame, all this little random shit y'all be doing for five minutes of. This shit was crazy. What? I'm going to have longevity. I'm going to be legendary. That's our shit. Though. Well, what's the name of the song? Six God. Six God. So we played it last night, and we were going in. You know, we were a little tipsy and just having fun, like, feeling ourselves. We had a great day. We were like, man, like, we really about to do this shit. Like, we're about to walk in our purpose. We're about to do this shit. We're about to take over. And this is our theme song. Like, anytime we hear that song, we turn up. Damn. You was popping back with Usher where you chain. Me? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn, you changed. Come on, we gotta break down these weird. I put it on everything. It's a hurting. It's a oh, we oh, come through birthday. Six got. Um, wait, let me pull it up. I want to see. Bitch, I know you heard things. That shit was crazy. Six God. So, whew, Jesus. So we said that we was going. We, we, no, let's not even tell them because we want them to just be surprised. What? What do we, we? What we do? What we gonna do back, backstage? Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna tell them what we're gonna do backstage. But can we tell them we in a song around? No, you can tell them the song. Okay. But where's the lyrics? Why can't Here. I see the lyrics? Here, you can see more. Y'all. Okay, so when we go on tour, we like we got a whole little surprise for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be tight though. Be she so said it. She came up with it today, and I was like, "Yeah, that's we tight." Got our like whole intro. But yeah. we was like we are coming out to this song. This is gonna be our song. Yeah, like, we're gonna recite every lyric. Yeah, this, like you can like we're very humble, but like you know sometimes y'all gotta get in your yeah. bag. You gotta like you gotta yesterday. Feel yourself. Was like, no, get this shit. Like look what God blessed us with. We were making a video. Megan was like, "No, no, let, let them, them see this. Let them see it. Get the pool. Get the." And it's not. What, what did Shekinah say yesterday about um, being shameful of the oh, yeah, blessings. blessings? Yeah, you hear. We, we hear. Like, we're going to walk in this shit. We're going to own it. And we're always going to say we got it from God. We got it from walking in our purpose, yep. being ourselves, being yep. vulnerable. But we're not going to be shameful of the life we want to live. Like, you guys deserve luxury. Yep. And until you believe it. Especially every, if that's what you want. If you want luxury, aspect, yeah. You deserve abundance, yes. whatever that looks like for yes. you. It's not always materialistic. We're yes. not talking about the marble floors in the pool. Obviously, we're talking about it starting with inner peace, happiness, growth, evolution, all of that, healing. Yeah. But, baby, the, the marble floors in the mansion, in the car that I want to drive, in the jewelry, that's the cherry on top. Mm -hmm. And I deserve to feel nice and live nice and mm -hmm. live a life of abundance and luxury also. Mm -hmm. That's not the goal. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, Drake. Love you. <laughs> that's not the, the goal. That's not what drives us. Yeah. But it is an asset. It is. And it's the cherry on top to live in the life you want to live. Yeah. And I believe that. I believe it, too. I believe it in I every believe aspect it. of your life. If you want it, you can have it. You can obtain it. And God it. says exceedingly, abundantly, above all, all you could you ever ask, or, ask think. or think. So if you can see it, Ooh. you can feel it, you can dream it, God can do even more. Even more. You cannot fathom even more. what he is what capable do. of. You can't he fathom can. it. But what you do fathom, yep. you can have that. You can have. you can have that. If you can see yourself at the job you want, the promotion that you want, the career that you want, you, you can, can have, have that. It. You can have it. You make the decision. Yeah. You can have it. Yeah. Like, and I'm, I'm going to always, we're going to always show you what God has done for us. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that looks like. Because we show, we show all the other we stuff. We show everything else. We show the sadness. We, we show, show the crying. attacks. We show the, yeah. yeah. We show the attacks. We show the trauma. We show the healing. We show the evolution. We're going to show the blessings. Because that's the only way yeah. that we get through all the yeah. other, the dark stuff. We yeah. get through it through God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I feel like one thing that I really have been like this week being here that I really feel like is another thing is uh, the message and the, the journey with God and walking with Christ, like what that looks, looks like today like. and presenting a, a, a different perspective. Like for me, I grew, we grew, both of us, we grew up in church. church. Grew up in the church. The physical Heavy. building, like, Heavy. yeah. I'm talking about church socks. Uh, what's the thing you put on under your Tight. A slip? slip. I had to wear slips, like going to church as a young lady, like church, religion, religion, religion. And, and, just the 
the works of it all. Yeah. Like just doing things without kind of robotic. Yeah. Kind of like Wednesday, Bible study, Sunday, uh, you know, children's church early, then this, then that ushers practice. Yeah. I was, usher, I was in the choir kind of robotic. And there's nothing wrong with church if that's where God has placed you and that's fine. That's great because I, there were many great things that happened to me in church, but I feel like where I am today and where I see a generation is, is that we have to reimagine what that looks what like. Church looks what, like. what does that really look like and how is that presented? And we have to reimagine it so that we can capture the attention of the people yeah. now. Yeah. Now. And what can they relate to? And what can they relate to? And having a relationship and not being so caught up on religion. Yeah, and it's like... Any, you know, anybody can be religious but not have a relationship with Somebody God. told me when we first started this podcast, they were like, yeah, you know, it's cool. You know, it's not like a ministry or anything. Ooh, what? I said, why? I don't I said, that in the name of Jesus. I, said, I don't believe that at all. I said, why? I said, why, why would it not be? Jesus. I have thousands of messages, thousands, thousands of messages thousands. saying, because of the podcast, I went to my first therapy session. Because of the podcast, I didn't have an abortion. I didn't have an abortion. Because of the podcast, I left an abusive relationship. Because of the podcast, I pray more. A 19-year-old girl, because of the podcast, I'm 19, I'm in college. I sat down with the Martin Luther King thing. She sat down with her white friends and her black friends. They had a discussion about it. You guys, really quickly before we move on, we're going to take a little ad break. You know why? Because boom, boom, be Simone Beauty. It's on our lips. I have on Time Will Tell Lip Liner with the bomb number one seller on top. Diamond clear gloss, you know, mm -hmm. you know, what you got on? I got on a little bit of baby girl. No, no, baby boy. I'm sorry. Baby boy. Okay. Which is the hot pink. Oh, wow. With a little bit of You're My Boyfriend. I knew it. I knew that was in there. That's our peachy nude. Yeah, I guys. want like a peachy pink. Yeah, you know? I love it. It looks so good. You blended it so well. It's so, so creamy. For our KFS family, we have 20% off. It is KFS20. Use the promo code KFS20. All caps, get 20% off and get your lips to look juicy like this. Mwah. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. I had I had thousands of messages. Well, I would say hundreds of messages because I... I no, 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 it's, it's thousands. Over a thousand. No, but I'm saying specifically yeah. about suicide. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, I've had people yeah. send me the letters that they've written their moms oh to God. say goodbye. Oh my God. And said because of the podcast, I didn't get this to my mom. Oh my God. Those are real. That let me tell you something. When you really walk in your purpose, nothing else matters. And do what, what God has sent totally you here to do. To do it is a ministry. That's crazy. I don't care if that's a, a elementary school teacher. Yep. I don't care yep. if it's a janitor yep. at an airport. Yep. I don't care if it's a gardener. Yep. If that is what God has placed you on this earth to yep. do, that is your ministry. Yep. Yep. That is your contribution to humanity, which is part of your, min that is a ministry. And don't ever think that it has to look a certain way yeah. for it, for God to use it and be, for it to be impactful in people's yeah. lives. And don't think you're not good enough. Yeah, or and worthy. I ain't going to lie. When I got on this platform, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't cuss so much. Or maybe be who you are. Be who you are. If it doesn't feel like you, God is not telling you to change all that right now, whatever. Be who you are. I'm like, we're all positive and we're talking about this is who I am right, right now. now. And God will use you exactly where you, are. where you are. I don't have to wear a turtleneck and cover up and not have my... I ain't there yet. I'm not there. I feel I feel most comfortable when I'm myself. I'm I'm the cusser. I'm the potty mouth right now. Maybe that'll change in the future. Maybe it won't. But right now, being myself is, you know, I overthought about that a lot, mm. a lot, mm. you know. And 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 I'm like, until it feels uneasy, I'm gonna keep being myself. But it's like what Tabitha said. Like she said, being free always puts me in a position to be ready. In your truth. That's just where you are. Walking in your truth, being yourself 100%. 100%. And at least knowing that you have the mentality and the lifestyle of being intentional and growing and evolving every single day. Yeah. And I'm always pushing towards yeah. that mark. Yeah. And if it gets me to a place where I'm like, you know what, maybe I should stop cussing. Yeah. Right. Maybe right. I should stop drinking. Right. Maybe right. I should stop doing whatever. Right. Then, then fine. But I love, I will never forget what you told me. God ain't told me to do that. Tell the story about your mom. Real quick. Oh, yeah. My mom used to always say, um... We use the analogy of chips when you tell Yeah, me. like they're I've always said that before on Baby Girl TV. Yeah, there's always, you know, there there are certain things obviously that God tells us not to do. Of course. Right? There Across are the board, Yeah. You know. Right? There's you know, things that you should do, things you shouldn't do, but 
you have to have such a tight relationship with God and have your own personal relationship with God that you have your own personal convictions and not being mad at people for where they are in their walk and their journey with God. And my mom will always say, she was like, obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm, explain that. Obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better to just be obedient to God, no matter what he tells you to do, than to sacrifice the blessing that he has on the in other your, end of, of your, your under end of, being, of your obedience. You. So it's better to obey than to sacrifice what that blessing could be on Ooh, the other side of your Jesus. obedience. So my mom would always say, Lord. when God told her to stop eating chips, she, he literally told her, it was like, stop eating chips because my mom has health issues and she would just found herself eating chips, especially at night, snacking. but just snacking, just yep, yep, not yep, yep, being healthy, yep. you know? And God told her, stop eating chips for a year. She was like, that's what God told me to do. God I can't, telling, she, well, I I can't be mad at you for eating chips. You're when, not addicted to them. That ain't none of my business. That wasn't your assignment. That wasn't your instruction. Yeah, it was my yeah, instruction. Yeah. And if I were to eat chips, regardless if it looks, if you eat it or if everybody's eating chips, but if God told me not to do it, that's what to God it. told, told me, me to do. To do. Come he told me Come to do on. that. What is God telling you? What's God telling You're so you to do? About everybody else. What is he telling you to do? The, God told me to read. I told you that yep. yesterday. He is telling me to read. Read, read, read. Like that has been so in the forefront of my mm. mind lately. I don't know what he's telling me to read, but I'm about to pick up a book. Read. The answer will be there later. I'll yeah. figure it out later, but he's telling me that. Read. Now. Read. And that and that's the thing. It's like if we if we traveling and you have to make time to read, and you don't see me reading. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> do this with God didn't tell me to do that, baby. And sometimes you got to be willing to walk on some journeys by, by yourself, yourself, regardless if anybody's doing it or not. Come on. You got to be willing Come to on. have that tight of a relationship with God where it's like, I don't care what everybody else is doing. This is what he told me to do. Do not try to change everybody around you. Yeah. And things when he's talking to you. That's he important. That's important. We got some questions real quick before we get to oh, that. Oh, Lord, she had yeah. to get to, back to these lyrics. I had lyrics. to get back to the lyrics, y'all. I'm holding it right here because it's like Drake is talking his shit on this song. He's talking his shit on this song, and it's like sometimes you just got to be like, come on now. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop I'm, I'm going to just go through a few little lyrics, and then we're going to get to the, the family questions because y'all sent us in questions, and we're going to answer them for y'all because this podcast episode is it's dedicated to y'all. Okay, Ooh, all right. This nigga said, got me feeling like a ball hog. I don't, I don't pass, pass it, it when, when I, I get it. it. It's our time. I'm not passing the torch right now. Eventually, we're going to have to pass the torch. But right now, I'm a ball right hog. Right now, I'm a ball hog. I'm holding it. I'm holding this. This is our time. Taking every shot. I admit it. I admit it. See, you too worried about the bitches. Some of you girls out there too worried about these niggas. Some of you fellas out there too worried about the girls. Y'all too worried about the focus. Focus. We focus right now. We in our bag right now. We ain't worried about nothing else but our, pur mm. our purpose and mm -hmm. walking in it. I got one girl and she my girl and nobody else can hit it. Yeah. <laughs> I may admit it. She admit it. She admit it. She ain't fucking with you niggas. And just like every other single thing in my life, you, you can, can have, have it when I finish. finish. When we done. We gonna pass the torch. We gonna <laughs> let y'all have it. We gonna let y'all take the stage. We gonna let y'all. Cool. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. But right now, let us let us just live in our purpose and walk and let us have our moment. Yeah. I hear the talk on the road. It's I'm the shit boy. Phone, Phone call, call back. Oh, shit, it's hot up in the six, boy. Hot, hot up, up in the six. six. Shit, it's hot up in the six right now. She hot, hot up, up in the six, six boy. Black Benz on the road, boy. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I already had the Rolls Royce. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Sold a couple Bentleys last week. Man, them was my, my old toys. toys. Ah, okay, give a fuck about home, home boy. boy. I give a fuck about the squad, boy. I give a fuck about your mob, boy. I'm a real six guy, boy. Okay, oh, one last, this last line, then we're going to move on. <clears throat> I'm about to say a true thing. Hey, I'm, I'm about, about to say a true thing. thing. You was popping back, back with Usher, where you changed. changed. Goddamn, you changed. <laughs> that shit is fire. Jesus. Listen, we just need, we need y'all to download this song. Download Six God. And make sure anytime you need that little push, that little like, you know what? I am. I'm the shit. Like, I don't care what. I am. And I can stunt a little bit. I can live yeah. in my, my truth, live in my, yeah. I don't have to feel worried about what other people think because I am happy about my blessings. How yeah. God, God has blessed us. Yeah. We ain't going to hide it. It's confidence. And you a child of God. You talk that shit. God is my father. So 
I, I have, I'm nothing less than that. I'm a y'all King's learn kid. them lyrics because when we on tour, I need to hear it. I need everybody. I need to. I need to hear you it. KFS family and you coming live when we on tour. We you coming need, out to that. You need to know every you lyric. You need to chant every word. Yeah. With us. So learn them lyrics. That's your homework. All right. We're gonna get you guys. We submitted. You guys submitted some questions, and we wanna. You look so pretty. You're a beautiful Thanks. person. So are you, man. Internally. Thank you. So are you. But physically, it's wild to me. That is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Your cheekbones, man. So this episode is dedicated to our KFS fam, and we we need you guys to come up with a name. So please, please yeah. make sure you guys are thinking about a name. We want to hear, you know, yeah, y'all name y'all yourself. Thoughts. Yeah, y'all name yourself. Yeah, um, come up with a name for the gang. For but the this gang. episode is specifically dedicated to you guys, and we're going to answer some questions that yeah. you submitted. Is this Twitter or Instagram? We did Twitter and, and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, so, you guys, so always send, go ahead. Use the hashtag. Always use the hashtag. What's the hashtag? Um, Hashtag no for sure pod K N O W F O R S U R E P O D. Tweet us, you guys. We yeah. look at all the tweets. Our Twitter is growing. Our TikTok is growing. No for sure pod. Our Instagram is growing. Always use the hashtag. I feel like I need to get on Twitter more. Yeah, hop on there. Talk, start talking. I'm in my DM so much. I'm because I really I be talking to y'all in my Megan DMs. Megan loves the DM. She talks. To I really and I, every DMs person overwhelm me sometimes, and I feel like if I answer one person or, or if I read it and I don't answer, I, I feel, feel bad. bad. Because y'all are pouring out your hearts to us. And, mm. you know, sometimes we don't have time to answer every single DM. I do feel bad when I read it and I don't respond. Then I respond and then I'm like, I didn't respond to the other 10. So yeah. I just kind of stay out of the yeah. DMs a little bit. You know what I'm finding, too, just real quick, that I found yesterday? Um, it makes me sad and, and it frustrates me a little bit. But when people take advantage of, like, you know how open I am about my mental health yep. when people take advantage of that yeah and, in, in and try way? to like lure me in with like a mental health thing and then message me about money don't do that shit y'all. it really makes me sad because it's like that. I'm don't gonna res- like if you're coming at me about a mental health thing you know nine Make times out of ten I'm gonna respond. respond to you because I take that very seriously. And that's unfair to the people that really need. Yeah, because then it puts you in a position to not want to answer. I'm not going to respond. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't do that. Don't use it for so, opportunity to yeah. just chat with her or ask for money. Or y'all ask me for money all the time, and I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. My granny still got bills. I'm not sending you $500 for <laughs> I'm not doing that. It's yeah. too many. No, we're not doing it that way. And I actually, what's crazy is, real quick, we're going to move on. Somebody DM'd me about the rent. She sent me a whole, and I happened to read it, and I mm. really felt conviction to help her. I said, send me over the paperwork, and I'll pay them directly. Really? She couldn't get it to me. Because mm. <laughs> it wasn't. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I've had moments where I've tried to help people, mm. but y'all, I'm not just going to cash up you $500. Right. I will give the money towards the cause. If I feel led if I to. I feel led yeah. to do that yeah. in that moment, you know, yeah. but. But, yeah, I just found that that was, like, a little. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Don't and I know that. you get that all. I mean, obviously, I do your emails, so I see yeah. it all the time. Yeah. But I was just like, yeah, I yeah. like that. Anyway, yeah. so we're going to start with our questions. Yeah. question is, how do I find motivation when the things that make me feel hurtful are starting to hurt me? So, go ahead. What, what, how do I find motivation when the things that, that make me made me, has made me successful are now it's hurting me? Hurt me. Are now hurting me? What? You want to touch on that? I mean, I think it's a balance. It's both. The first thing that came to my mind was family. And I'm going to explain what that is. Mm. I felt like, I don't even want to use the word neglect, but I felt like for me to get to this point. Hmm. You need a tissue. That's kind of fucked up. For me to get to this point, I didn't neglect my family, but I couldn't have both. Mm. And now in my current situation right now, I'm really, really, really trying to fix that and spend more time in the relationship with my mom. Um, Why do you feel like you couldn't have both? At that, at that moment when I left Atlanta, I, I mean, left Dallas to come to Atlanta, I don't really know if I knew I couldn't have both. But now looking back, you I knew. couldn't. I couldn't. Mm. If I was going to be here, I could not have stayed in, in Dallas, Texas, Pleasant Grove. I couldn't have been up under my granny all day. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have been at everything I missed. Mm-hmm. I don't regret missing it. 
because it got me to this point. But mm. now that I'm at this point to where I can kind of go back mm -hmm. and have make my own schedule, I have mm -hmm. enough money to make time. Now I need to make the decision to make time. Mm -hmm. Now I can make that decision. Mm -hmm. I spent almost a decade of chasing my career. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm to this point, I, can, I need to stop, mm -hmm. heal, and make time for my mm -hmm. family. And I, I'm acknowledging that now. But mm -hmm. To, to answer the question, I feel like that hurt me. Mm. A thing that made me successful, leaving my family, which I don't regret because I had to do that mm -hmm. to get to this point. But now that I'm at this point, I need to fix that hurt. Mm -hmm. I need to, you know, I need to be more um, present. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like you caused hurt by leaving? Yeah, absolutely. So you feel like it's on you to to heal yourself and heal. I feel like, like even granny, I feel like she don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Like she'd be like, okay, just come, you, you can come back. Like, are you good? She still asks me if I'm good on money. Mm. She still sends me hundred dollar checks. I never cash them. I'm like, granny, I don't, mm. I, I never cash them. Yeah. But you know, or um, like, I remember when I first moved to Atlanta, I didn't have a bed for six months and I would cry to her. I would call her. I'm like, I, you, I wasn't crying to her for help. I right. never asked her for money. I'd never asked her. Like I wasn't crying for her to be like, I need to move back. I just wanted support. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep put. Even then she was like, well, just come back home. She don't get it. Mm -hmm. If I would have went back to Pleasant Grove, I would have still be been in her kitchen doing sew-ins. Mm -hmm. And I made good money. Mm -hmm. That just wasn't my purpose. I was making $1,000 a week. So now I have bills to right. be living in the house with your parents yep. at 22. Yep. That's, a lot, That's a lot of money doing hair. But I had to leave and put my career and myself first before my family yeah. to make it to this point. But once again, now that I'm to this point, it is my responsibility to do your best, to do my best. I can make my own schedule. Mm -hmm. I'm financially stable now. Mm -hmm. I'm not all the way where I want to be, but you know, it, like You're Megan good, yeah. was like, you need to go back home for Mother's Day. I went back home for Mother's Day and mm -hmm. saw my mom. And you know, I'm so proud of you for doing yeah, it. Yeah, you know, I'm proud so, of you for making the time. And I know how hard it is. Yeah. I know. That's like a big deal for me right now. I think about the first time I came and visited you when you moved to Atlanta. This was like five years ago. And I remember asking you about your mom. And mm -hmm. do you remember your response? I don't know if you remember. I don't, I'm, this I is don't like remember. the first time me and B had seen each other in all the years yeah. that we hadn't seen each mm -hmm. other. And I came and visited her. You were, this was when you and Farrah were living in that first apartment. <sighs> And flooded roaches carpet yeah no. you had just started working for hair or us yeah and we were in the car and i'm like i was asking how granny was doing mm -hmm. how jordan's doing and i was like how's your mom doing You're like i don't know mm. and then i look at b today and i just got a text from you i'm trying not to get emotional i just got a text from you the other day and said bestie i talked to my mom I talked to her for, for 12, 12 minutes, minutes and 45 seconds. And you said, and I don't feel, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I talk to her and I feel good. She's you just me like that. me. Mm -hmm. She, Oh my God. I have so much like her. I text Megan. I said, I've tried so hard not to be like my mom and, and calling her with the open heart. I said, I'm just like her, Megan. She's so sweet. She's so loving. She sees the good in mm -hmm. everything. She's not she's not looking for nothing else in life. She's just happy, content with who she is, with, you know? Mm -hmm. And but y'all don't understand, like, and B will talk about her story one day in a way that it it's gonna change a lot of lives, but she's still going through this. Um, mm -hmm. but you don't know the pain that just the mention of her mom brings her. Oh my God. Used to bring her, the mention of it. Like. I don't even remember saying that to you. Yeah. I, rem I remember, I mean, when I tell you, remember what did I say last night when we were talking out by the fire pit? I was like, B is the only person that I feel like I have consistently been intentional about loving. And I feel like it hit me in that moment when you said that. And I remember the Holy Spirit shutting me up. I mean, immediately. God. Shut me up. I could not. Say anything else about nope. it? And he said, wait. That was it. God told me he, in that moment, wait. Don't say no, Don't even respond. Don't respond to that. Wait. And I knew in that moment this was always going to be a journey f for you. Like I knew, I knew that that had to be healed. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to watch you go from that to getting that text just a few days ago. I was so excited to text you. 
<laughs> I'm just so proud of you, I'm man. I'm so excited to text you. I'm so proud of you. I said all that to say, to answer your question, beautiful or handsome, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, um, fix it. Yeah, if you can. If you can. Whatever is hurting you, if that is causing you, you know, whatever is coming in between your success, the pain, fix it. Fix it. And, and some things aren't, some things are meant to let go. If, if you're being led to fix it, fix it. Yeah. I've never felt easy about not seeing granny all the time. I never felt like, you know, yeah. it wasn't fucked up. Yeah. Not being there. I miss my papa's funeral. Yeah. My dad's dad, but I couldn't make it. Mm. You know, it was last minute and, you know, it, it was. It and I feel like that goes into a lot when you're chasing your when you're really chasing your purpose and walking in your yeah, purpose. There's yeah, so much sacrifice yeah. that comes along with that. Yeah. It just does. Yeah. Like my son's birthday is Friday tomorrow. Come on. You know what tomorrow, I'm saying? Tomorrow, midnight. My son's birthday is tomorrow. My kid's last day of school is yesterday. Man. You know what I'm saying? Man. But those are sacrifices that you make when you're doing what God has called you to do. Chasing there are purpose. sacrifices that have to be made. You know what I'm saying? And and not only for you, but for them. Like, your family had to sacrifice, too. Right, right, right. And you, you know make sure saying? you make the sacrifices for the right thing. Yep. We not out here missing shit, chasing niggas, chasing right. money, out here partying, out here... Uh, We're losing money. We're not even making money We're right now. Losing, losing money. money. But... This is important. This is the purpose. Yeah. Make sure you sacrificing to chase something yep. that God is calling you to chase. Yep. Don't be leaving your family and your kids and missing birthdays and missing funerals and funerals yeah. for, you know, bullshit. You know. Yeah, it's so, like I might miss I'm I'm gonna miss Jonah's birthday tomorrow. Man. But guess what? There's gonna come a time I'm gonna be able to rent Disney out. Ooh, come on. Bring all come your on. friends. We, we, we rent in Disney out. We're going to have a birthday party there. But it's the sacrifice that I got to make now. Come I got to I gotta sacrifice your ninth birthday. Is Jonah turning nine or eight? He's turning eight. Come Jesus on. Christ. I, got, I don't even know how to call <laughs> my kids. Jonah's turning eight, you know, tomorrow. But guess what? Your eighth birthday, mommy wasn't there on that date. His party is Monday. His party but is, but she going to land and I, she planned Literally, I, she, I'm not traveling. I said no to her. I have never said no. Oh, never. And I, I totally understand. She was like, yeah. I'm going I, to my hometown. Excuse me. I'm doing a pop-up shop for B. Simone Beauty, mm -hmm. who she is the, basically, creative director, creative director partner in. It's her brand, too. Um, I got a pop-up shop in my hometown. I said, Megan, she's like, do you need, I, I, I said, said, can Ashley just go can with I, you and you're absolutely. good? Because Brandy's going to be there. Yeah, you're, Brandy's oh, going to be there. But even, even if nobody was there, you know, I would hire security. I would truck, I understand. She's making a sacrifice to be here this week. My, Sunday, she got to plan Jonah's birthday. Mm -hmm. And we going, I'm up, as soon as I land, I'm coming straight to your house. Yeah. I'm going to be at the party. Yeah. It's give and take. But it's give and take. We're, we're making sacrifices to chase the purpose. Yeah. We're not making sacrifices to turn up, mm -hmm. to chase a nigga, to chase money. To cha We're making mm -hmm. sacrifices to chase the legacy the and the legacy. overall purpose. Yeah. So to answer your question, it, it, fix it. Fix Whatever it, it is, can. fix it and try to have balance with it. But, you know, if the success is your purpose, chase that. And, too... Sometimes when you're in your purpose, Man. you ain't always happy. Man. I guess my next question is, like, what does it realize that you do not feel like everyone else? Man. What is it realizing that you can't be like everybody else? You know what? I'm going to go back to what um, you an impactful that. moment yeah. that happened when Man. we interviewed Tabitha Brown. And she said something to me Ooh. off camera that, you know, I'm not going to get into details about because I do feel like it was a very intimate moment. And, and I, I want to tell, I don't want to interrupt uh -huh. you. I want you to tell this real quick. Mind you, Tabitha, as um, um, soon as they yelled cut with the interview, she went straight to Megan. She didn't grab me. She didn't talk to me. She didn't pull me to the side. She turned her whole, whole body straight to Megan mm -hmm. and had a word. God spoke through Literally. her to talk straight to her. Literally. She didn't say nothing to me. Literally. She said thank you, whatever. She didn't have a word for me. Literally. She looked straight at Megan. That was that was definitely a direct message yeah. from God to yeah. me. I I like and I know how much you needed exactly man, what she said. But she said something and it was and it brought up a lot of 
how I felt my whole life. And we were talking about this in the car last night where I've always felt like, why is, why, why am I like this? Why? Why do I think like this? Why do I feel, why do this? I feel this all the time? Why do I feel? Why well, am I such an empath? Why? Like, why? Why do I care? Why, why do I care about that? Why do I, like, it's always been this question of like, why, even recently to this day with this platform, it's, uh, I've Jesus. always kind of not known why, and even to this day, like, you know, you why? You still ask. Why? Yeah. And that's okay. Like, because I would totally, y'all know me. Y'all in the room know me. I love being in the background. I love being the help of a purpose or the, the pusher of someone else. Like, I like to be behind and get behind something. You know what I'm saying? We talked about so, it yesterday. You're like, I work better when I serve. I work better when I serve. We I were talking Braylon. about that. She worked I better said she, when she's not sleepy. <laughs> Let her sleep. Because she said something. You said something yesterday. Because yesterday morning, um, hold, don't forget that yeah, thought no, no, no. about Tabitha. Yesterday morning, um, we were all sleeping in. We brought Shekinah with us to help us, just to assist we us. We got in everything. at 3 a.m. We got in at 3. Megan barely sleep already. Mm -hmm. Megan don't sleep. I woke up this morning, walking. Good morning. She already on her laptop. I'm just waking up. I'm still lounging in bed, honestly. Um, I, sl I, I uh, slept in yesterday. A, a little bit. I, I, I worked nap, too. Yeah. yeah, we had to get up. Megan rubbed me. She said, okay, I'm about to head out. I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to go to, um, uh, you made three stops. Yeah, I'm to get the food. food. But I, I, in my mind, I didn't say it. Because I know she, it don't matter what I said. She was going to walk out the house. In my mind, I'm thinking, that's why we brought Shekinah. Yeah. So she could rest, so she could chill. Not not chill, but not have to worry about the frivolous mm -hmm. little thing. She could just be, you know. But Megan said to me yesterday when I said it, I work better when I'm serving. Mm -hmm. You work better when you rested. Mm -hmm. I know you need those extra yep. two hours of sleep. I don't need that. I don't that. need that. Let me serve, and you going on and go yeah. to sleep. And I'm cool with that. Yeah. And it don't bother me. Yeah. And I Because, again, that's how you are your best. Yeah. And that's how I'm at my best. And for us to give our best Together, to this, you got to do what you got to do to make you the best. And I got to do what I got to do to make me the best. And I'm fine with that. And, and though, I do feel like just a point of like, I, of growth is I'd let her do it once we got to the house. I didn't touch Which nothing. I, I went upstairs. But. I normally wouldn't have done that. She killed it. Oh, what? I, <laughs> like, I ain't got to worry about usually it. Usually be like, I got it, sweetie. Just, excuse me, just please. We came downstairs, kind of had the candles lit. Man, the stuff man. was laid out. And and then we all had end up having this beautiful conversation. And I'll get back to the question of why me or why why am I different? Yeah. But we all had this beautiful conversation oh, after we that. wrapped up from lighting to crew to Shekinah coming and, and assisting us, to Ashley, who is our, our videographer and photographer, how it all just happened aligned. and aligned it's crazy. and like how God divinely orchestrated all of it. It's crazy. And how everybody knows God. How every Body person knows, knows God. God. And I love looking and around the room and seeing black women. We got four black women, black women that know God. Five with May sitting here. May and Aaron, is you a white man? But you we a white love man? you. We thank you. And you are so professional. You are so professional. And that is a ministry, thank you so whether much, you know Aaron. it or not. You are walking in your purpose. You are. Thank you. <laughs> you always need at least one. You at least one. You gotta have at least one white person. We, you know they get you out of shit. They do. Because if we all get pulled over, they need to talk to Aaron. Aaron. If the cops come to the house, Aaron's Aaron. answering the door. The police are at the door. Aaron. Go Aaron, handle go that. handle that. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate you. You're great. Thank you. But back to black women. Yes. We're the best. We are. Erin. <laughs> I'm not sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, that's like, it's amazing. And it, I'm thankful. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. I'm thankful that God has it brought the right good. people. It feels right. And it's never going, and yesterday I was on such a high. I'm like, it ain't always going to feel like this. Mm -hmm. And when it don't feel like this, we still so got to fight. Yeah. It ain't all, we ain't always going to have good days. But I, guess what? At least we got people, again, going back to the fact that they know God. Rooted. Foundation. Even if it ain't good. Come on. Somebody in Ashley here know how, know to, how pray. to pray. She kind of know how to, when I say now, she kind of, you think Megan be praying. She is Southern. <laughs> that is a Southern yeah. bell yeah. that know how to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's important. It's important. If we down, we got people that can pray us through it. It's important. It, it's like that. Keep inventory of your circle. Yeah. 
But go back to Tabitha. I want you to answer, but that, answer that question. I will say that she said something to me that I've never heard anybody say to me in my life. Um, and I felt like like she hugged me again. Like we hugged. And then she said, she, she, she said, pulled she pulled, looked at you she, she said, you. she asked me a question and then she got into this dialogue, um, a, a word that I believe that God gave her for me. Thank and then God. she hugged Thank me again. God. And Thank you, I was God. telling y'all last night, I was like, I wasn't even saying anything. I was just crying, but I felt like whatever my tears were communicating, cause I can't articulate what those tears are, were in that moment. She was like, I know. I know, mm-hmm, I know. That feeling. She, like she heard you. She, she, she it's like she, she, she heard that, the, tears. the tears. were talking to her, literally. Because she was like, I know. I know, mm-hmm. I get it. I've been Like there. she had full understanding. I'm just Of like whatever you. I was I'm just feeling. like you. Like, and that was, and so to go back to the question of how do you kind of figure, how do you navigate through that? Of being different. Of being or, different yeah. or, it is the most sacred thing I feel to have identity. Mm. Mm. And I think sometimes when you don't know, I feel like we try to place ourselves in certain places of where we belong. Mm-hmm. And so when you feel so different, you feel like you don't belong. Mm -hmm. I know you needed that. I know you needed that. I know exactly what you needed Like when she said that. I was like, oh, my God. She ain't never met Megan in her life. This is what happens when you don't have a fucking outline. Or when when you don't have your your agenda, right. God, you do it. Just go. I said yet, yeah. like listen, obedience is our job. Outcome is God's job. Once we're obedient, the outcome of that is on Him. Every time we sit in this chair, we're just being obedient. Okay, yes. Go. <laughs> whatever you're moving us to do, whatever you're moving us to say, we'll say it. Thank we'll do you, it. Jesus. You know, there's no there's no like agenda yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying outside of god there really just is no in truth and truth and evolving and growth love. and purpose love. there's just no other agenda there's no other agenda but i feel Damn. like it's so important to if you feel that way if you feel like i don't belong or you feel like why am i so different or you st- it's important that you don't resent that part of you mm-hmm. that you step into it embrace it embrace it and learn as much as you can from it and know that you always belong. Yeah. And there is power. I'll say this, there's power in, um, what's the word I want to use? There's power in, self-identity when it comes to being original or like when <laughs> when Kanye first started doing 808s in, the, in this production the 808 yeah. and heartbeats it's, yeah. a, it's an album that was probably the first time we ever really heard music in that way Oh, you're talking about that body of work. That body of work. It was Kanye doing this weird, like, auto-tune type of vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We didn't really hear it as... It was a full body of work Mm -hmm. like that, but it was one that people didn't really understand, Mm -hmm. and it didn't really belong... Like, what is this? Is Mm -hmm. it rap? Is it... Is it... What is it? Is Mm -hmm. it singing? Is it... no? You know those those type of musics Mm -hmm. where it's like it doesn't really belong, but you never know what your uniqueness... And the pre- the presentation of your uniqueness, and the way you think, and the way you process, and the way you see things, what that does for somebody else. I got a better example. Thank you, God. It, I was thinking, trying to get it to download, and it wasn't downloading in my head. But no, now I got it. That was a good analogy. But though. it's kind of like the very first instrument. I don't ever. I don't know what the very first instrument was, but I'm assuming it was some sort of string instrument, right? 
or tapping or you know i'm sure like drums yeah. or something but i'm talking about in the string in the form of string instruments what was the very first in string instrument i don't know yeah right so but whatever that instrument was because that person had that idea saw those materials and created that sound then someone else saw that and created eventually the piano mm-hmm mm-hmm do you see what I'm saying? It's like take, don't reject your, your uniqueness or the fact that you see things in a different way or you see it in a different angle or you see a different mm -hmm, perception. Mm -hmm. Don't reject that because that could help piece be a piece to the next puzzle. You know, yeah, yeah it's part yeah. of it's it, all the, a part. It's of all it. a part it's of leading the, to something. It's leading to something. something, and you are created without. It's, it's going back to what I, when you were talking about that one day. I'm like, God, we're fearfully and wonderfully made. We're created with purpose and intent. So if God has created you this way, and I'm not talking about people who are just like fucked up and that are like mean and evil. Right. I'm talking about like you just like myself. I see things different. I feel different all the time. I'm very sensitive, sensitive. to things. Yeah. I So... If you're fearfully and wonderfully made and created with purpose and intent. And in his image. And in his image. Mm -hmm. And this is who you are to your core. Like, this is who I am. I'm never, I've been this way my whole life. I see things. I have dreams. I have visions. I have whatever. Rejecting that is an insult to God. Wow. I created wow. you that way. Wow. And I need you to be that way for a reason. Wow. Maybe it needs to be matured. Yeah. Maybe it needs some Sharpened. a little yeah. uh, uh, elevating. Maybe it needs a little bit more evolving. I need and you to learn how to use your gift. Yeah. But this is how I created you. Yeah. And that's not always easy because I feel like a lot of people who think that way also battle mental health issues. Mm -hmm. And that is hard. Mm -hmm. But I have now decided that this is who I am. And this is who God has called me to be. Yeah. And I can't run from that. Yeah. I and just I love can't. That you walking into it. I can't. Yeah. And especially when you when it's impactful. Like if anything that you do, being who you are has impacted other people in a positive way, that's a pretty good indication that that you're doing the right thing. That you're doing the right yeah. thing. I'm so proud. Do you know of what you. I mean? I don't know. I was mm -hmm. kind of all over the place with that. I was yeah. trying to find the exact analogy, but yeah, you can't reject who you are. Walk into it. Walk into Walk it. Into it. And Amen. ask every day. The most powerful prayer you could ever pray is God help me. Yeah. Lead me. Let your will be done. Literally. Yep. Literally. So. Yep. Love that. Next question. Um, what is a useful skill to generally lose, especially when you're Hmm. A useful skill? It's hard because like, I feel like worth, work ethic is not a skill. I think like you either have it or you don't. Yeah, but these niggas is lazy. Work ethic. Work ethic. So the question was, what's a useful skill that this generation needs? The first thing that came to Megan's mind was work, work ethic, ethic, work ethic. Jesus Christ, why are we tripping work on words lately? You said oh, my teeth are too big. Okay, bitch, <laughs> let it go. Cause you said it too. So whatever. What did she say in the kitchen the other day? She messed up. She said something, <laughs> but she <laughs> let it go. You said oh, beast. What? <laughs> I was like, I already I told y'all, I ate the I ate round the chips that I hated. Nachos. It's fucked. No. How has my relationship with food evolved or shifted? Honestly. Mine hasn't. I have terrible eating habits. Mine has shifted a little bit. A little bit. Not all the time. Um, I don't overeat like I used to, but. It's because you can't. When I, right. Because you would. I, I, you I, physically get sick and that makes you stop. Wow. I don't think it's evolved or shifted. It hasn't. Okay, next question. <laughs> mm. um, well, you have a male on the podcast to talk about relationships and mental health. Yes. Well, we I have feel like when we, on the podcast. When yeah. we find the right, the right person, person. Yeah, we always say it's not about followers. It's not about platform. We do bring a lot of people on that have platforms, but we had conversations with our homegirls. Like, we want to mm. have conversations with people that know how to have healthy dialogue. Yeah, if you and you don't have to have a conversation and have something to say, then come on the show. Well, and I feel like there's so many male podcasts. Yeah. Like, I hear yeah. men talk a lot. Yeah. And yeah. not that I don't care what they have to say, but we I'm sick of men controlling the narrative, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. You guys! Uh, 
we have a special announcement. Really quickly before really we go quick. on with this episode, we got to tell y'all a little secret. Just a tiny little secret. Just a little secret. You going to tell me? You tell them. You tell them. Don't look at me. I don't tell them. Okay. Nah, you do it. No, you do it. Okay. <clears throat> June 9th. We're going to be in Miami. Boom. I'm scared. I am too. <laughs> For sure. We got this though. This is our first live, live show. show. We are so excited. We will be at the Black Equity Conference. Cons. Yes, you guys. Y'all can get tickets at online. BlackEquityCon.com. And, and you can get your tickets. And we're yeah. gonna be there June 9th. June 9th, doing a live our first live show on the um for the No For Sure podcast. Yeah. We'll be there. You guys can get tickets, a meet and greet, meet us, VIP, all of that is on the website. Make sure you check out the website and we will see you in Miami June 9th. Come and see don't, us. Don't be mad if you don't live in Miami. Don't be mad if you can't make it, because baby, this is the first show of many. Of many. Of we many. love you guys. Back to the show. I feel like as a black female podcast, I want to give as much room and opportunities for more black, black women females, yeah. voices. Yeah. Um, I feel like, and, and maybe it's just like a triggering thing right now with the laws, the abortion laws mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. men really just controlling the narrative. Controlling the yeah. narrative. Yeah. And, and, and with that law, not that that has to do with black men, I'm just saying men in general, but with that law, I feel like it's, it's taking obviously a woman's choice which is, is stifling her voice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I want us to always give room and a platform for black female voices, but yeah. women in general, in general yeah, you know, cause yeah. our, we have a very diverse yeah. following, yeah. but I'm like, men are just, yeah. I want to hear what they have to say. Yeah. Obviously we're open yeah. for the dialogue, but it's not like a, we want men on the, yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah. a yeah. focus. Yeah. And so. I don't, I don't mind. I mean, Megan obviously doesn't mind, but like I said, if they're going to come with some healing and some growth and some accountability and some evolution yeah. and everything that we do on this show ourselves, um, great. Come with the convo. Yeah. And hopefully you can, you know, heal some black men on our platform that need to heal, hear positive things. But we're not going to come on here and bicker and point fingers yeah. and argue when we're not doing that. We're yeah. going to take accountability. We're going to give and our opinions ones, and have healthy dialogue. Ones that are actually walking in their full truth. truth. <laughs> so if you're going to come on this podcast and not tell the truth and we know who you are behind closed doors. Thank God. That, I, thank God. Because it's not even going to come out. We were going to do something with. So thank God. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Wild. Thank God. Yeah. So last question. Mm. Yeah, um, need to look this. Okay, okay. I feel like that's. You want to repeat it? How can I reignite my friendship with my best friend? I feel like we don't know each other anymore. I. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I have two, several different answers for that. But go ahead. I feel like if y'all don't know each other anymore, that means y'all are changing. And if y'all are going to take the opportunity to get to know these new people and, and grow and you're going to take the opportunity to learn her and she's going to take the opportunity to learn you, cool, mm -hmm. try it. But people change. Yeah. People grow. People evolve. If you don't know her anymore, that means she probably changed. Mm -hmm. So And we know, talk about it. We weren't. We didn't talk for 10 years because we were on different, different journeys, journeys yeah. and paths and yeah. she was chasing her career. I was yeah. being a mom and a wife. And yeah. so it doesn't mean that you won't come back, back together, at a point because yeah. we did and look yeah. where we are yeah. you know now but I don't know I feel like most of my relationships in my life have been pretty solid and consistent consistent yeah. like the people that I've been friends with for over 12 years outside of you I've known you the longest I'm still cool with but take the opportunity to if, if you see somebody you don't know you don't know them anymore that means they change see this new person if they're not a fucked up person change yeah. it for the worse be open to them changing and growing and evolving but if it's just like she likes netflix and i like hulu just that's like, it's, well just just watch netflix sometimes yeah, sometimes right, watch hulu right. like it's not you know what i'm saying right I feel like people be falling out yeah, over little stuff yeah. yeah like well she just likes the club and i yeah. well that yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean you can't be friends. Yeah, yeah. Get to know that new person, though. Yeah. If y'all are both different, y'all have to take time and get to know each other over again. Yeah, do we can know? do one more. Yeah, we I, can. I want to go, I'll try to go a little more minutes. Okay. They're going to kick our ass with these hour episodes, but we're good. Damn. I'll do it, Chunky. Thank you, Chunky Monkey. 
Um, real quick, we answered a few questions from the KFS Why fam. Why don't you do this? We love y'all so much. Keep sending in your questions. We love you. We love you. We love you. Um, and we're going to um, pull two cards real quick before we end this episode. This episode is dedicated to y'all. Thanks for supporting us. Two questions. Two. What's the first what one? What does having children mean to you? I pulled that for you. I mean, for me, you know, I obviously don't have children yet. But I would love to have a family, love to start a family when I find my person or my person finds me, you know, because he out there. DMs are open. <laughs> Holla at you, girl. Um, but kids to me means just, you know. I'm not looking forward to Braylon being pregnant at Megan all. always says that because I want to have natural water births at home. I want my friends there. I do. I want you there. Please, you have to be. I can't do it without you. God told me that. He didn't. He did. I'm going to ask Tab. I'm going to ask Tabitha. No. Uh, for, I don't have kids yet. So I pulled that a card for Megan. I want her to answer. I know she loves her kids. Like, that's her world. But to me, mm. you know, legacy, experiencing family, and um, starting the traditions and the healing. I'm starting that now, but I think that's going to lead into when I have my own family. Mm -hmm. So I need to heal my family unit now so that I can, you know. Be the best mom you can, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, and really understand how important family is yeah. before I bring one into this world. At least you're thinking about it, because some people don't even be thinking about it. Yeah. Um, what does having children mean to me? I don't, I, you know, it's a weird question, because I feel like I've never thought about, like, a specific answer. Like, what does this mean to me? Because um, I, I feel like it's changed. I think I had an idea of what I thought being like, a mom yeah, was going to be. And yeah. I thought it was about all the stuff that, you know, I don't know. I thought it was all the corny stuff that I didn't really have growing up that I wanted to do. And I do do some stuff. Like, I'm very big on, especially holidays, like Christmas is a thing for me. Yeah, They're going to have matching PJs and we're going to do the... <laughs> Hot cocoa. Yeah, and like my kids don't believe in Santa, but we still do the yeah. Santa thing. And yeah, like they know the, it's me. Yeah, they know I ate the cookies and <laughs> took a bite of the carrot. I ate the cookie and drank the milk. <laughs> no, no, I didn't drink the milk. I poured it out. Almond milk? I literally told my family just side note the other day. I was like, I'm never buying milk. Yeah. Do not ask me. Do not. If it's out. Do not. I, side note. I saw an ad recently on a huge athlete's platform, and it was an ad about milk, and it said, you need to drink milk because milk makes your... I'm like, we are past that, y'all. We have to stop lying. We have to stop. We're past it. Milk does not make your bones strong. It is cow pus. And, and we, mucus. And mucus. And black people do not need to have dairy. I still eat dairy. I get it. But I'm not saying it's good for you. Like drinking a cup of milk? That is crazy. And my kids have done that. Yeah, We did that growing up. Cereal? Milk cereal is, is, but drinking a glass of milk. It's nasty. I tell my, I tell my family, I'm like, I am not buying milk. It's nasty. Y'all gonna have to figure it out. Oat milk, and goat milk. And I still milk. eat dairy, y'all. I'm not saying, I, I'm not judging nobody. I still do it, but I'm not cheese. saying you should eat cheese. I'm not saying that. So stop saying you should drink milk. If you drink it, you drink it. But You're saying don't eat cheese? I'm saying dairy is cow pus. Even and cheese? Cheese, yes. I still eat it. I love cheese. I'm gonna eat cheese today. But I'm acknowledging the fact that it is not healthy, and especially for black people. Have you seen when they take that big thing of cheese and they melt it and they put the that, pasta? I can't even look at that, though. That kind of makes me nauseous. The pasta? Yeah. Are you out the, of your mind? The melted, I'm like, pus. It makes me think of pimples. Pus, cow pus. You're out of your mind. I know. But I eat cheese, but I'm saying, don't, it's a false narrative. Y'all, don't. But yeah I, yeah, I don't even know why I got on that that topic. But oh, we were talking about <laughs> traditions. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, fucking Jesus. Now we're talking about veganism. <laughs> so I I don't I used to think it was all these things of yeah, but now um, now it's more a relationship. Yeah, more than just being a parent. It's about really building this relationship, knowing them. And and assisting them assisting on this them journey. Like, yeah. I really am just the, I'm just assisting them on this journey. Like, they don't belong to me in the sense of, ultimately, like, they're, they're gods. gods. Like, they yeah. don't belong to me. They belong to God. And I was entrusted with assisting them on their journey. And I, and I feel very um, sound in that more now than I've ever felt before. Good. And I have conversations with my children, even Caleb. Like, yeah. I feel like people think it's weird that we, like, talk to Caleb the way we talk to him. But Caleb understands yeah. everything that we say. My son, Caleb, is autistic and nonverbal. Um, 
When and you, so you got in trouble the other day when I was over there. I oh know. my god! Doesn't it break your heart? Yeah. Megan, literally, he says she said, something. He stomped off. He said something. I said, "Oh my god!" Megan said, "Braylon, stop." I was like, "Yes, ma'am." Because his little she and she looked at him. She said, and "He knew exactly mm -hmm. what she was." She he know. He's so smart and beautiful. That but that little face. I was like, he just be looking like. I was like, I oh. treat my I treat Caleb the same yep. that I treat Eli yep. and that I treat Jonah. Yep. I hold him just as accountable because I know he knows He's and so he smart. understands. He knows. Yeah. he knows. Caleb is brilliant. Yeah. yeah. This kid is uh, like yeah. brilliant. He's so smart and, yeah. and aware of everything. So I don't treat him any differently than I treat the other two. Yeah. Um, but And I talk to them. I have real conversations. I ask how they're feeling. I love it. I try to um, give them verbiage and yeah. words to their feelings yeah. we talk about yeah what they're feeling yeah. and you know and so it looks a little different to me but um it is the greatest honor of my life besides walking in the calling that god has called me to do being like their mom is yeah. you know which is a part of your purpose the highest honor i love you you gonna wrap it up what do you know for sure? What do you... What do I know for sure? What am I saying, saying no, no to? to for sure? I know for sure... I know for sure that I'm committed to forgiving my mom. Mm -hmm. And I'm committed to rebuilding my relationship with my family. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel like I... You know, I feel like me and my family, we're close and stuff, but just physically being there. Mm -hmm. You know, committed to more physical moments and mm -hmm. memories. You know, Granny's getting older. Mm -hmm. God forbid anything happened. But, you know, everybody's getting older. Yeah, we're but getting older. We're shit. getting older, yeah. you know. So just committed to more physical uh, physical memories with my family. Yeah. I know for sure I'm going to commit to that, and I'm going to commit to getting on my journey to fully forgiving my mom. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you for that. I love you. I'm really proud I of can't you. can't wait. That was a, that's a huge... Yeah. I feel like when you share the why behind it all, it's really going to all come together and people will really understand how impactful. But forgiveness is impactful, man. Man. Forgiveness is so healing. Easy. It's hard. I said it so many times. I forgive her. I forgive her. No, you don't. You remember when we had that conversation God. that day? I was sitting on a bench outside you were like, of at the Atlantic Station. I will never forget it. You were like, I, I haven't forgiven her. I don't forgive her. And you thought you did. I thought I did. Mm-hmm. Because it, feel, it feels good to say, I forgive you. I forgive you. But and it's I, like, is your heart really, truly? It's not. It's not. It's not yet. But the acknowledgement is like the biggest thing. It's not It's yet. like you know. And I'm not accepting that. Yeah. I'm not just going to never, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to forgive her. And I'm going to start powerful. that journey. So I know that for sure. What are you saying no to for sure? No to for sure. Saying no to for sure. That's powerful. I'm sorry. I just felt that I needed to say that. Forgiveness is healing. It is. If you are holding on to something, if y'all are watching this episode, I don't know who you are, where you are, what you're doing, who hurt you, who did it. Why they did it. Why they did it. I'm telling you, it's the hardest thing in the world. I know it is, but you Jesus. need to forgive them. You need it for you. You need it for you. You need it for you. Forgiveness is for you. It's for you because people going to keep moving on with their life and you still stuck holding mm -hmm. on to that mm -hmm. pain, that trauma that mm -hmm. you need to forgive. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you on the other side Ooh, of that forgiveness, what? the freedom that is going what? to unlock in your life and everyone attached to your life and for the person that you're forgiving in their lives. I'm telling you, I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. But do everything in your power mm -hmm. to start that process. Just like Eric Thomas said, they might not be hurting. You're hurting. You're hurting. That's what I'm My saying. It's for you. My fine. I got on that phone with her. She is so happy. That's all you kept saying. You're like, she's happy. She's happy. I am hurting. Mm. I'm doing this for me. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Forgive. Forgive. <laughs> Forgive. I'm going to do Forgive. it. Forgive. I know for sure I'm going to do it. And what I'm saying no to for sure is that um, I'm never going to give up on us, our purpose, and yeah. what we fight through as our friendship. Like, this is just, we're on cloud. I'm on cloud nine right now. Yesterday yeah. was amazing. Today's going to be amazing. And 
I, I'm saying no to never giving up on our purpose yeah. and in this podcast because that that MLK incident that ain't gonna be the last time something about somebody say something negative. We always gonna deal with haters and all that, but the good outweighs the bad. So I'm saying no to never giving up on this. Amen. Yeah, I love you. What about you? Um, I know for sure a few things. I know for sure that I'm so grateful for our KFS family. Um, whatever you guys decide to name yourselves. Um, yeah. This episode was dedicated to you guys. So I know for sure that I'm so grateful. I love you guys. Um, like B said in the beginning, we're pouring into y'all, but y'all are also pouring, pouring into, into us. us. It's an infinite cycle. Um, we're healing together. Healing together. I know that I'm so proud of you. Thank you. For taking this step to forgive. You I know me with that. You push me to that a lot. I know how hard that is for you. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's going to happen. It's powerful. And so I'm proud of you for that. Um, I'm saying no to, I think I'm saying no to um, questioning as best I can um, my purpose or why I am, why who I am, mm -hmm. and why I see things the way I see. Mm -hmm. I think I'm for sure saying no to the idea of rejecting that mm -hmm. and rejecting those, you know, the gifts that I feel like God has given me. More into yeah. It. Leaning more this into it. This yeah. is who I am. Yeah. Um, I love that for yeah. you. I and see it. I'm saying no to anybody who thinks that we are not, like what happened with the Martin Luther King thing. You guys, we are saying things that are not trendy. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're saying things We're that not are saying stuff comfortable. To be <laughs> right. We are not going to, we are. We are going to say things that are jolting and triggering and impactful that causes you to think. And, and I am not going, I, I'm saying no to the idea of, of not doing that. Yeah, we're going to continue to do Not that. that we're trying to offend anybody or yeah. hurt anybody or yeah. trigger anybody. And not that we're always right. Yeah. We're going to continue to have these conversations. And be as genuine and as authentic as possible. From a pure place. Yeah. Love. I love you. Love you. This was a good episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. And, you know, we'll see you next week. Know For Sure Podcast. B. Simone and Megan A. Brooks. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure Podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag, Know For Sure Pod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag, Know For Sure Pod, on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. Keep it going. Go to the website, knowforsurepod.com, and follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, Know For Sure Pod.